traditional engineering, in which Scotland has a wonderful heritage, has just focused on providing technical solutions to industrial problems. Sustainable engineering now recognises the global impact that we have on our environment, so the technological solutions that we provide must take that into account. We can be looking at the monitoring of energy systems, we can be looking at water technologies, and in fact any industry which consumes energy resources will benefit from sustainable engineering. We have the Institute of Sustainable Engineering and Technology and that looks at a wide range of disciplines that supports us to ensure we deliver a sustainable future. The first area is looking at the development of instrumentation and sensor systems for monitoring industrial and energy generation and also looking at sustainable and renewable energy sources. The second area is focusing upon the digital systems, so we're looking at communications, networks, we're looking at the application of digital systems to healthcare, and we're also looking at the application of virtual reality into the man-machine interfacing. The third area, we're looking at the development of environmental technologies, technologies for water monitoring, water treatment. We're also looking at the construction industry and developing policies for a sustainable construction and we're also looking at the built environment around us, how the cities around us consume energy and how we can minimise that. The operation of the entire UK electricity supply rests on the efficiency of transformers. Researchers at Glasgow Caledonian University have developed the Power Tracker tool, which monitors transformers and detects faults as soon as they occur. Electricity is generated from a power station, and we've got nuclear power stations, we've got offshore wind farms, and we've got coal power stations in the UK. Now what happens is that electricity is generated and it's got to be transported across the country to get to your house so that you can use it at 230 volts to get your washing machine and to get your hair dryer or whatever it is working. Now transformers take the power or the voltage that is generated from the power station and up it to a high voltage, around about 400 kV or 275 kilovolts, and transport it across the country. So we've got to bring that voltage back down again so that the normal person in the house can use it in their mains. So we transfer it through a transformer which transforms the high voltage down to a low voltage and a subsequent number of these transformers then produce it down to 230 volts. The dilemma of the utilities and, and the transmission companies are that um, although the actual components, the main components are actually aging, they're not all aging at the same rate. And so what they require is actually information about the state of health of each of the major components within the national grid. Power Tracker device is a novel piece of kit. It has the ability to monitor the transformer. In other words, the health of the transformer. Is it working well? Are there potential problems coming along in the transformer? Maybe we could look to make sure that the transformer might last longer than we had hoped it would last. So we want to monitor basically the health of the transformer. In essence, uh, what the power track technology uh, gives to the companies is business intelligence about their system and also information that, that they can act on on their critical components. I've done some work in collaboration with Glasgow Caledonian University for the last, I would say, eight, nine years with Brian Stewart and the work that's done is excellent. We just look for collaborative projects that there's always things that turn up which are very useful and very enjoyable. We both learn and bring in the industrial input to the process and the university bring the intellectual side of things, which uh, is good. We've got a good working relationship and that will continue. Well, the ultimate beneficiaries are us, the consumers, where we actually can rely on the national grid to take us forward in the coming years and have a secure supply of, of power, as well as cope with the renewable energy sources that are going to come on stream in the near future. We would like to see Power Tracker being deployed on a number of transformers at the end of all this project, simply because we believe that utilities and other interested parties will have an understanding, a better understanding of how their transformers are performing.